In this video, I'll show you the relationship between the present tense and the present perfect tense. If, for example, someone asks you this question, where do you live? Where do you live? Here's the helping verb and here is the main verb. This question is in the present tense. The answer, I live in, and put the name of the city or the country here. I live in Chicago. The next question following this answer might be something like this. How long have you lived there? Here's the helping verb, have, and the main verb is live. This verb is in the form of the past participle. So here's the simple form for the verb live. The past tense is lived and the past participle because this is a regular verb lived live lived lived so this word here is the past participle for the word live in the question in the present tense here's the verb in the simple form And here's the answer to the question. I have lived there for, and then you can put the number of years here. I have lived there for five years. Or you can use since. Since, and then put the year. I have lived there since 2007. This is 2012. So if you go back five years, then it's 2007. So if I say I live in Chicago, that's right now in 2012. I have lived in Chicago for five years. That's also now, but going back to 2007. So this indicates how many years I have lived in Chicago. In this dialogue, here's the verb be. How are you today? And the answer, I'm sick. Remember how the verb be changes after the subject. I am. I'm sick. And then the person hears you say that and asks, how long have you been sick? Here's the verb be in the present perfect tense. The past participle for be is been. And the answer, I've been sick for three days. In this sentence, here's the present tense. This is the verb be in the present tense. I am sick. So it's now. Today is Friday. I am sick. Today, I am sick now. Here's the present perfect tense. And this shows the length of time for the sickness. I have been sick for three days. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And so I'm sick now. But this shows when the sickness began, Tuesday or Wednesday. If you change the subject to she, the verb changes to is. She is sick. And then in the present perfect tense, use has. She has been sick for three days. In the present tense, 
where does he work? This is the helping verb, and the main verb is in the simple form. He works at Tony's Pizza. Here the main verb is in the third person singular, present tense. Remember that you add the S. He, she, it works. And the answer following he works at Tony's Pizza, somebody wants to know the length of time. How long has he worked there? So this is the helping verb, and this is the, the main verb, and this is the past participle. Work is a regular verb. Work, past tense, is worked. And the past participle is also worked. The answer to this question is he has worked there for one month. Or because this is February, you could say he has worked there since January. Here's the verb work in the simple form, the past tense form, and the past participle. Because this is a regular verb, notice that the ed appears at the end for both the past tense and the past participle. When you make the question, the present tense question, and if the subject is he, then use does with the simple form of the verb. So if I say, where does he work? You put these two together, does and then work. This is the helping verb. But if you form the present perfect tense, the helping verb is have, and you match this with the past participle. How long has he worked there? Of course, because it's one person, you want to use the verb has. I have, you have, he has. So when you're forming the present perfect tense, remember that you have a choice between have or has.